Happy Thursday, Shoreline City Littles! It's Mila here, and I am so excited to hear today about how much God loves you, and you, and you, and you! Are you excited? Shout hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! But first, you know what's next. Let's say our Shoreline City Creed. On the count of three, one, two, three. I am loved by God. I cannot earn it. I cannot lose it. In Christ, I am forgiven and made brand new. I live with passion and purpose. I'm empowered by the Spirit to be the church in the world and to live for the glory of God. Wow, that was so amazing. Are you all ready? Let's stand up on our feet and worship.
Tell me what you see. Round all around, look all around. Tell me what you see. Now one, two, three, I see a yellow sun shining bright. Yeah, I see birds that sing in the big blue sky. Yeah, I see mountains, mountains, trees so green, stars that shine on everything. I know God made all of these, all of these things I see. Oh.
week, I got to go to the beach. And I think some of it came home with me. Raise your hand if you like to play in the water. Me too. My friends and I played and splashed in the water all day. We looked around the beach and found some really cool things like this really cool piece of driftwood. And so many shells. But the most fun thing we found was really cool painted rocks. Some people painted them and hid them in places on the beach. Do you know what's on this rock? Shout it out if you know. One, two, three. A heart, yes, a heart means love. I love hearing the waves. I love playing ball. I love eating lollipops. There's so many things to love. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found some treasures at the beach, did you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Someone painted this cool heart rock, and it reminds me of all the things I love. Love is important. It's true. I know the biggest love ever for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello there. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I made today? <laughs> I call them my heart full of love cupcakes. They've got hearts on top and yummy red frosting. And when you take a bite, they are full of red and pink heart sprinkles. They are so fun. <laughs> they go with today's story about why we should have a heart full of love for others. If you're ready for the story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible starts with God. Do you know that God loves you so much? It's true. Stretch out your arms as far as you can. Yes, stretch really far. <laughs> Good, God loves you bigger than your arms can stretch. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, you can put them down now. Because God loves us so much, he gave us the best gift ever. God gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. Jesus was born on the very first Christmas. Did Jesus stay a little baby? No! Jesus grew up to do amazing things and show us how God wants us to live and how to love others. No matter where Jesus went or what he was doing, Jesus stopped to show others that he loved them. One day, Jesus stopped to talk to a man named Zacchaeus, even though Zacchaeus had made lots of bad choices. Jesus loved Zacchaeus no matter what. Then another day, Jesus had been teaching all day and he wanted to take a rest, but Jesus loved the crowd and wanted to help them. So he kept teaching them instead of going away. There was also a time when one of Jesus's friends, Peter, told people that he didn't know Jesus and wasn't friends with him. How would you feel if someone said they weren't your friend? I would feel sad and it would probably be hard to forgive them. But Jesus did forgive Peter. Jesus loved Peter and forgave him for telling people they weren't friends. Jesus is an amazing friend and God sent him to show us how to love everyone. Jesus taught us to stop and listen to our friends. Jesus taught us to help our friends. Jesus taught us to forgive our friends. When we stop to listen, help, and forgive, we are loving like Jesus taught us to. 
Jesus can help us love everyone. Jesus can help us do everything. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loves us so much. He gave Jesus so we can choose love in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus to be our friend forever. Jesus can help me choose to love, and love can change the world. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, one way I can choose love is by FaceTime my grandma. I can tell her I love her and show her my cool rocks. See you next time. you so much and can help you do everything. Who can help you do everything? Jesus! That's right. Jesus can help you do everything. See you next time, Shoreline City Littles. 